Today we celebrate at least three important things. First, it's Advent, time of preparing for Jesus' love to come into our hearts. Second, it's First Friday, and of our nine First Fridays that we're during, doing during this school year, this is number four of nine, and honoring Jesus' sacred heart. And then third, it's also the feast day of St. John Damascene. Maybe we know the least amount about St. John Damascene. Well, he was a monk and a priest who lived in, outside of Jerusalem um, about 700 years after Jesus. And during his time, you know, Christians had already begun making images and icons of Jesus, of Mary, of different saints. But there were some people that were living at that time who thought that you know, if we made pictures of Jesus or, or Mary or different people, that we were worshiping them. And if we did that, that was a bad thing, and so we should destroy them all. And so some of them actually would go into the churches and, and tear down the images and destroy them. Well, St. John Damascene was one of the people in the church who defended being able to have images. He said that since Jesus has come... Since he was born in our world and we could see him, then we could make an image of him. We can make a picture of him. And the church said, yes, St. John, you're correct. We can make images. And so that's why we have images of Jesus in our church all over the place. That's why we see holy images over in the school, in your classrooms. That's why we can put holy images in our homes. One image of Jesus that is very good to have, is the image of the sacred heart of Jesus. We've already talked a little bit about that image. In uh, one of his 12, one of Jesus's 12 promises to St. Margaret Mary, we talked about her last time, Jesus said to her, I will bless the home in which the image of my sacred heart is exposed and honored. So Jesus was telling her that he would give special blessings upon whoever would put up an image in a very important place. Like we call it enthroning his image. Putting up his image in an important place in their home. That he would give these special blessings to them. Because when we do that, we're basically saying that our home belongs to Jesus. That his love, his love that comes from his sacred heart, is invited into our houses. It's kind of like, it's a reminder, kind of like, you know, in our church over there, we know that Jesus is in the tabernacle. And we have the red candle, the red light above it, to remind us that he's in there. Because we don't see him, but we can see the candle. Whenever the candle's lit, we know that's where Jesus is in our churches. And so in the same way, we can put an image of the Sacred Heart in our home to remind us that Jesus also lives there. When we put up that image, we say that we want our homes and our hearts to be like a tabernacle, to be a place where Jesus will live. So this year, as you know, we're celebrating 100 years of our school. And our school was first named Sacred Heart Academy. It was named after Jesus' Sacred Heart. And in talking to Mr. Makey and some of the teachers and some of the parents, we agreed that, you know, our school really should have an image of the Sacred Heart enthroned in it somewhere. Now, we do have images of the Sacred Heart, smaller ones in, in a number of your classrooms, but we don't have one big image for the whole school. And so we thought it would be, it would be a good year, as we celebrate 100 years, to put up an image of the Sacred Heart. And actually, talking to our 8th graders, they've generously said, that, yeah, we want to donate the image of the Sacred Heart that we can put up in our school. And it had been my plan that after Mass today, we would go over to the school and we were going to enthrone the image up there. But as you can see, I was going to have an image here that we were going to enthrone so we could see it during Mass. But the company who was going to print the image, some things happened, and they weren't done with the image yet. So we can't enthrone it yet today. I'm a little bit disappointed. But I am excited that we will do it. We might have to, we have to be patient, though, before we can. 
So maybe, I was thinking maybe if they're done, maybe we could do it the beginning of the school day uh, next Tuesday when we have uh, the Feast of uh, the Immaculate Conception of Mary. But I'm excited that we're going to bless and enthrone an image of the Sacred Heart in our school so that it will be another reminder to us of Jesus' love always being with us, that he will bless our school as he's promised. And not just our school, but every family, every one of your families can also enthrone an image of the Sacred Heart in your homes. So if you don't have an image of the Sacred Heart, you could ask your parents if you guys can get one to put it up in an important place in your house. I'm going to put some information uh, about how to do that, how to enthrone the Sacred Heart in your home. We'll put that in the Thursday envelope so that your parents can find it and uh, know how to do it. You know, if you've ever wanted to invite one of the priests to your house, that could be a way you could ask us to come and pray with you and to bless the image of the Sacred Heart and bless your house. So St. John Damascene said that images help remember, help us to remember that Jesus is there with us, even though we don't always see him. Jesus told St. Margaret Mary that he would bless any home that has an image of his sacred heart. So let's never forget that Jesus is always with us, not just here in the church, but also in our school and in our homes.